the last time we spoke, you said this is something we might do. We might sue Caddo Parish Schools. If anybody missed that uh, threat made good, tell us what you did and why. Well, we, as, uh, as you said earlier, we all, we always said that if we could not work this out, that would be where we, that was where we would go next. And I, you know, I always say that if you put me there, there you'll find me. And and that's what happened. The administration just re- just would not move on this, would not recognize the level of what we can perceive to be as discrimination. And so that's where we are today. I was going to say the cornerstone of your lawsuit is, I guess, discrimination. Who's being discriminated against? Several parties. Uh, first and foremost, any uh, mother was pregnant and been teaching in this pandemic with a baby in utero who went out on maternity leave was automatically excluded from this uh, from this uh, supplemental pay. Uh, 17 days was the max that you could miss. There is no maternity leave known to mankind that is 17 days or less. So you automatically knew when you created that arbitrary date, you were excluding that whole group. If you had been someone that had asked the superintendent and administration to allow you to teach uh, remotely because of the pandemic, and, and a lot of places didn't. In fact, it appeared that a lot of people in central office did that throughout the summer. Uh, teachers were and teachers and school employees at work sites were not allowed to do that. And if the doctor said, "Well, you, it's just too unsafe for you to be there," they used their days, and, and you know and whether it was approved leave or was it just their uh, regular days that they had accumulated, which certainly are approved, and they were excluded. You did this, you boxed them into a corner, and then and then you then you 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 did the double whammy on them. This- and then if you were an employee that was injured or, or had emergency surgery. No matter, he said he's rewarding all these people for their long-time service. Well, that's not much way to reward anybody that I know of. The superintendent told us uh, last week or two weeks ago that, you know, this is extra, that, that the pregnant women and those who are out on disabilities, they get rich benefits by being an employee of Caddo Schools. And this was something extra, and they wanted to reward those who were on the job 90% of the time. Your response to that? Uh, poppycock. Uh, the fact of the matter is uh, I'm very disappointed that administration doesn't even know the laws on the books, which they didn't create, that our our legislators created, or that are being enforced or supposed to be enforced at the local level. That is called extended sick leave. You get, you, uh, anyone that uses extended sick leave, which you get 90 days every six years, when you use those days, you pay that 65% of your salary, and then once certainly you take out your insurance and your retirement out there. It's, it really is a minimal amount to just keep you from completely being devastated during the time period that you're out. So for him, for our administration not to know that, it's, it's, it's pretty um, telling. Jackie, I, I'm pretty lucky. I've never had to had to sue anybody. Um, but I would think if you're going to, that you would sort of contact them, send them a letter saying, okay, here's what we're going to do unless you do X. Has there been any contact, e- uh, contact email, from day one. correspondence? From day one. From day one. Uh, from telling them when they first presented this, that this could not stand. From going before the school board. And telling them then, in fact, I think that's the last time we spoke with you. We certainly said then. We said it from day one. Our attorney has contacted their attorney. Uh, we have had people reach out to the board members. So, no. And, and for anybody to say they didn't know this would just be absolutely just more of the same. Well, the response that you received from either uh, the school board or Superintendent Gorey, was it a lengthy here's why, two or three pages, or was it a uh, too bad? It's kind of a combination of both uh, that, you know, with, uh, going back to what you said, uh, saying that this was just this one time and and this we just wanted to do this. Uh, and we made, we made up a figure of 90 and and we think that we're right in doing this. You know, that kind of that's kind of the, the uh, language we heard. You know, it's just so absolutely uh, contrasted against going over to Bozier who uh, just last Thursday voted to implement theirs, inclusive of every single employee group 
inclusive of whether they were on leave or not. You know, it's just why did you do this? That's the, the you know, the, you know this, it is really and truly the pro- proverbial total a turtle on the fence, folks. Why, how did that turtle get there? How did you come to this conclusion? Why do you refuse to listen? Who is who is whispering in your ear telling you that this is okay? Because let me tell you, sir, it's not. Where are you on taking action with regard to you? Uh, days of action you told us could be ahead. It, those are still there, Aaron. When we tell you something, we don't make those things up. We we weigh the complications. We 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 ask our members, and we were on a massive phone call with them uh, th- th- this past Wednesday. You know, uh, a massive Zoom call. We we get, we don't make we don't make decisions. We're asked without asking our members what they want to do. And that we take that direction. And I'll say, I'll tell you that to tell you at the beginning of the year when many, many people said, let's not go back to work, let's not go back, it's too dangerous, it's too dangerous. We went to our members and said, what do you want to do? And they voted to go back to school. You know what? The administration liked them well enough then. I don't know what happened after that. Do you have named defendants in the lawsuit you're filing, or is it Red River United? Or are we going to name some people that have been harmed? We have names in the suit.